stage is set for some of the most talented athletes in the nation to compete. Yes, and one of those athletes is a top-notch flag football co competitor whose drive actually inspires everyone around him. Meet Special Olympics athlete Ryan Gronowski. Attitude is everything, and for Ryan Gronowski, it's his special attitude that defines him and not his special needs. He brings the juice. People gravitate and see him, whether it's cheering at a football game or a basketball game. He basically just brings an excitement, and I think part of it is he just, it's the love of life. Often the most audible supporter at his brother and sister's college games. Let's go, man! The 24-year-old is known to uplift those on and off the field. Born in Illinois, at two years old, his parents noticed his speech was delayed. Ryan was four years old when he was diagnosed with epilepsy. He was also diagnosed um, at the time with IDD, which is intellectual and developmental disability. But despite his diagnosis, Ryan stayed true to his calling, even when the games were put on pause. When we learned that Ryan was no longer going to be Welcome back on the neurotypical team. It was just transitioning to a new team, making new friends. Ryan and the Gronowski family discovering the Special Olympics, a new place to play, and so much more. I got just chills just thinking about it right now. Being able to go down there and really just enjoy watching them. It's, I, I can't wait. I'm going to be screaming my head off cheering for him. The games, a chance for his family to lead the crowd, just like Ryan. It's fun to see that. His brother and sister now come and see him and cheer him on. He might even get a little bit of uh, hot dog in him a little bit once he starts hearing the, the crowd cheering. <laughs> and look at who we got. Yes, the man himself, Ryan Gronowski, joined by mom, Deb, dad, Ray, and his brother and best friend, Mark. It's good to have you all here with us. Look at those smiling faces. <laughs> Thank you for having us here. Okay, this is that, exciting. It's exciting. I guess that's the word. Dad, let me just start with you here. What's this like now? We, we, people heard the piece there to be uh, rooting him on. Oh, it's fabulous. It's fabulous to be here. It's exciting to actually see him be on stage at uh, a wonderful event like this. And uh, um, we can't be more happy um, to have the opportunity um, to be involved in this Special Olympics and, and getting others, hopefully, to get more involved in Special Olympics than, uh, than just sitting on the sidelines. So it's great. Yeah, and Deb, this was our first time hosting this beautiful event. And it, there's a reason why it's called Special Olympics. Can you talk about what that organization has meant to you, the, the family, the friends that have been created because of it? And, and it's exactly what you said, the family and friends. Special Olympics is family. Um, what's most incredible about it is it gives Ryan the opportunity to play sports that he normally wouldn't be able to. And he became an athlete with a disability to becoming just an athlete. <laughs> and that is what is incredible about it. And we have met wonderful friends Ryan has, we have as a family, and it's it's life-changing. And Brother Mark, you're actually an athlete. South Dakota State, I have it right now. You all are very close. He's been rooting for you and cheering you on for years and years. Uh, you're looking forward to, to being able to be his loudest supporter on this stage now? Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so proud of him. And <laughs> at every stadium he goes to, he's the loudest fan in the entire stadium. And he's cheering on me, and he's <laughs> creating chance and everything for everyone else in the stadium and it's great to flip that and I'm gonna try and be his loudest supporter today. <laughs> we have a little tradition that we always do after every game he comes up and gives me the biggest hug ever and the oh. hardest high five and we're gonna try and flip that today <laughs> to him after this game. That is very exciting and, and you talk about support and I know Ryan your family supports you but there's another big supporter of yours out here. Uh, we heard you and your brother actually have all of his jerseys. Uh, you are a big fan of his but now he wants to tell you what a big fan he is of you, Tim Tebow. Oh, Ryan, how you doing? Give him a hug. I got a football for you. Oh I've heard so many amazing things about you, and it's so nice to see you. I can't wait to watch you compete this week. It's going to be awesome. How are you guys doing? doing I'll, Mark, I also have a football for you too. Oh, of course, man. It's nice to see you. How are you guys doing? doing? Big hug. Good to see you. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. You excited to compete this week? Yeah. It's going to be so much fun, huh? Mm -hmm. Can I come watch? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I can't wait. Yes. That's going to be awesome. Yes. You all tell you know us. What? I, I just okay. want to say thank you for coming. And when I see this, I see two athletes <laughs> bonding together over football <laughs> and encouraging one another to keep smiling and to keep making a difference in the world. So thank you for everything you do. Well, thank you. Thank you for the difference mm -hmm. that you guys are making. 
It's Thank an you. honor to be here and to support you guys. Well, Ryan, we're all going to be rooting. We sure are. Ryan, Ryan. so and good luck. And cheering. <laughs> and competing today, right? I have it right. Yeah, competing today. today. We will see how that goes. Well, thank you all so, so much uh, for spending some time with us, all right? Thank you for thank having you. us. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.